Welcome to Chewing the Cud with Lee Robertson and Mike Benyon Rowe. The hammer slid right out. She looked down and she went, Oh my God, it looks like a drop lasagna. Wow. What have you got today for us, Mike? I've got a conversation about um, shaming people's vaginas after giving birth. I don't really. Uh, I've got a, a story about our, fa- our friend with the body modification. Oh. Vag- v- Vaseline man. Vag- Vaseline man. Vag- yes. <laughs> On screen now, you can see our contact info. It's at the Cud TV on social media, where you can follow us, the TV for our website, and on YouTube or a podcast service, look for Chewing the Cud and hit subscribe. And as the names of people have reached out and touched us in our intimate areas go along the bottom of the screen, we hit Lee with the showbiz. <laughs> So, bit of news about Miley Cyrus. Oh, yeah. She's dropped the Ray. It's just Miley Cyrus now. Probably for the last 20 years, but, you know, <laughs> What did she have? What was she called? Ray Miley Cyrus? No, Miley Ray Cyrus. Oh, right. Okay. That's been a long time. Long time. Hannah Montana was that sort of thing. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, she, she's saying she's done an interview for, for Vogue, British Vogue magazine. She's on the cover of it and all that kind of jazz. Oh, yeah. And she's saying that she only hangs out with gay men. I can believe mm. it. She especially she quite a year. She's had number one for ten weeks. I didn't know that happened anymore. Like songs were at number one for for ten weeks. Um, there she is. That's that's the cover of um, of um, Vogue. Vogue, and there she looks like she's wiping a bit of cum from the side of her mouth. Um, she released her album Endless so Endless Summer Vacation. I've not listened to it. Um, that's good. That's been. Did you appreciate it? I liked it. Yeah. Did it's, you? It's, did you? Know, did you um, mm, well, she's appeared on the front of British Vogue. Mm-hmm. And um, she's talking about her friendships. So she's like saying that um, basically all her friendships are with predominantly gay men. Okay. She says, I, um, I'm really into fitness. I'm really into fitness. Yeah. And she loves getting her gay pals around um, so that they can have like workout classes. Oh. That sounds really oh. dull. I'm sorry, um, you get your gay pals around with a bo- couple of bottles of wine and some cream cakes. Mm. That's a fun evening. Yeah. Um, she says, I only hang out with like gay men. Like so they come gay. like gay men. So they come over and we do a whole class based off a of Nicki Minaj or we have a Britney series. The bus dance to their songs. Um, so elsewhere while drinking. No, they don't drink. She doesn't drink anymore. She's she's clean. She doesn't do none of the backy, wacky backy. What was that accent? Um, she, she's, I don't know, I'm just disappointed. She's clear. Well, she's, well, she caned it for years, didn't she? I know, but still so have I. I'm still going strong. Anyway, anyway, she's she's talking about her love life as well. Mm. So she shared how she met her current boyfriend, Max Mirando. Um, oh, that's some hair. That's a choice! <laughs> Isn't it? Yeah. Um, she said, we, were, we, we got put on a blind date. Well, it was blind for me and not really for him. I thought, the worst is that I can leave. Um, but she actually really got on with him. And um, um, they're like, boyfriend to girlfriend and everything. Um, she, But she was married to, to a Hemsworth. It doesn't look like he washes. I mean, he does. But it looks like that kind of, yeah. Yeah, it's kind of like she's really traded down, hasn't she? Yeah. I mean, yeah. probably handsome. Under all that all hair. All that hair, yeah. Big glasses. It's a rocker, so that's um. kind of like there. So she released the song Flowers earlier this year, mm-hmm. and fans are kind of saying that they noticed that she released the music video on the same day that it was Liam Hemsworth's birthday. Yeah. And she said, I wouldn't erase my story. I want it to be erased, she told the publication. Having an interesting life makes interesting storytelling. Mm-hmm. So, they first, see, they first met back in 2000, not these two, but the Hemsworth, back in uh, 2012. Okay. On and off, on and off, got back together, got married, and got divorced. We've got a picture of them together. There's a picture of them. She likes to lick people's faces. Who doesn't? She, she does that a lot. Do people taste good on mm. the whole? Um, but he's yeah, like... On the whole. He, he's just like so beautiful though that he's, how could you imagine, so how could you... Which means he's probably an arsehole. Oh, a teeny little penis. No, the Hemsworths are quite hot. Oh, they're quite... Oh, well, we're going to talk about that later. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. So, that, so, yeah, good. I'm happy that she's happy. That's all that matters. That's all that matters. Happy. We'd be happy in life. So, so, so going from one Hemsworth to another, uh-huh. it says, fans are stunned by Chris Hemsworth's Mathis bulge. A massive bulge. Massive bulge. A massive bulge. Massive bulge. <laughs> massive bulge. <laughs> so excited. Um, so Chris Hemsworth has been taking some time off from acting after he'd been doing like all the Thor films and all that kind of stuff. He made a decision to prioritise his health um, because I don't know if you've seen it on social media. He 
yeah, we'll get to it, Mike. We'll get to it. It's okay. coming. He's kind of got, is. he's found that he's got the gene uh -huh. that could potentially lead him to having dementia. Yeah in later life. Uh -huh. So he's kind of sort of slowed down on the acting and stuff to kind of just give life a little bit of a breather. Yeah. Um, so um, that's not the first picture that we want to see though, is it? I'm enjoying that picture. You're but enjoying that a picture. different picture. There's a picture we've got with... So this was supposed to be a picture of Chris Hemsworth and his wife, it, not oh, a picture of Chris Hemsworth, <laughs> and, Chris Hemsworth and one of the hairy bikers. Um, <laughs> it's me. The, yes. Me and Chris Hemsworth have obviously been married. That is a very disturbing photograph. Um, is it? Yes. Why? Because you look like you're about to cook some clams <laughs> on a beach. <laughs> is that a euphemism? <laughs> Yeah, and, and release your cookbook. Cook his clubs. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so he. So can we can we remove that because that's disturbing me. Um, oh, there she is, the bitch. There's his from real hell. wife. <laughs> um, I've, I've reference for you there. He's, in the past couple of weeks, he's made a bit of a comeback on social media. Mm -hmm. So he's been posting pictures of his work. He likes a workout. Yeah, yeah. likes to whiff. He likes to lift out. weights. Oh, okay. Um, and so he's been posting like the kind of workouts that he does, but. People who can't help but comment on a certain part of his anatomy. So in one particular does. one, he won good little session. He wrote um, in the caption that sees him performing bossu ball squats. I don't know what those are, um, and boxing drills. Um, so if we have a look, yeah. So people were kind of saying, yeah, well done, but look at the size of your dick. Oh, he's circumcised. Do you think? Uh, can you? How can you tell? That, that little line there. Yeah. There's the head of his pen. <laughs> Um, I forgot I'm talking to an expert. Sorry, can, can we, we zoom into this picture, please? See? Head. Shaft. He might just have a semi. And it's... I still can tell it's circumcised. I don't, got... I don't think a circumcision is kind of a very common thing in Australia. It's very common in Australia. Is it? Yeah. And you've had a lot of dick. I've had a lot of dick. I've, I've taken a survey, shall we say. Yeah. So they were kind of commenting Absolutely. on the fact that... I was 18 in Australia at the time. <laughs> I was thin and young and slaggy. And full of cum. About the end of the holiday I was, yeah. Yes. Anyway, they were, they were saying that he was obviously hadn't given back the hammer of the gods... Uh, um, judging by um, the pattern, they were saying that he's probably gone. It looks like he's commando. Now you've you've confirmed that because you, yeah. you see you can see his bell end yeah. um, through <laughs> his uh, trousers. Yay. Yeah. Um, so yeah. So that, I mean, th there is no other reason to to talk about this apart from the fact that you can see his penis. So congratulations to his wife. Yeah. Mm. Bitch troll from hell still. Okay. Woo. Now then, we're staying on the theme. Okay. We're, 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 massive dicks. Uh, massive dicks. Um, we're, we're, we're drag race stars. They've got to find, once they've kind of been on the show, uh -huh. they've got to find a way of kind of staying in the sort of like public. Zeitgeist. Yeah, and, and kind of finding projects to kind of promote. So Heidi in Closet, who's currently in um, All Stars 8 uh -huh. at the moment, um, we've got a picture of her, of her kind of runway first look. Uh, in All Stars 8, um, she has decided that she's going to expand her merch range. Okay. So we've got a picture over there. Nice. Um, that the, the, the theme was kind of Hollywood glamorous, that, that okay. kind of thing. Um, so she's launched her very own sex toy. Okay. In a new collaboration with the Flesh Jack brand. Ah. Are you aware of this brand, mate? I am aware have of it. Have you got shares in it? I don't have shares. I have one of their products. Oh, just one. Okay. Yes, because they're very expensive. Versus. I have other versions that are cheaper. Versus. But the Flesh Jack is expensive. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, she's launched it. It's called, it's called the Heidi and Closet Quick Shot. And it's a stimulating sex toy that oh. can be used for masturbation. Um, she announced <laughs> the collab on Instagram. Um, she said... Okay, I know I said no more gaps, but just one more. You can now have your very own gap. Um, so the mouth of the thing uh -huh. is, is modelled after her own mouth and, and her, her gap in her teeth. Okay. Um, the official Flesh Jack website describes it as this. It's a, with the compact Heidi and Closet Quick Shot by Fleshlight, you'll be able to watch every satisfying moment of self-pleasure. And they say it's Heidi's, equipped with both Heidi's infamous gap tooth, mouth and tongue, uh -huh. the Quick Shot gives you two sets of lips to enjoy your time with this sex goddess. Or invite a partner over for some three-way oral action. With so many ways to enjoy, enjoy hiding in closet, you may never leave the house again. What? 
But that's going to feel weird because you've got lips, teeth, tongue. Yeah. Tongue, teeth, lips on the other side. It doesn't normally come out. Yeah, that, that's weirding me out a bit. It's to share with a friend. So you can awkwardly look into each other's eyes as you're going... Uh, uh, awkward. In your, in your flashlight. Awkward. It, awkward? Oh, sexy. Yeah. One or the other. One of you yeah. spitting, one of you... No, Apparently it comes in a compact gold case and promises a soft, a soft and supple texture. Oh. As well as measures up 4.4 like inches total length and 3.5 insertable length. I don't know what any of that means. Right, so total size of it is 4 inches. Okay. Right. And then insertable is how far in you can get. Okay. So you can get three inches in, three and a half inches in. Okay. So, you know. It's not good, is it? I need two, at least. Mm, okay. Um, do you want to know how much it is? It's going to be expensive. 40 quid. It's expensive. Is that expensive for a dilly? Well, it's not a dilly, a love is it? sleeve, whatever they call it. A them. love sleeve. <laughs> yeah. A love, a love sleeve. sleeve. Yeah. But if you don't fancy that, the same site does... Will, Willam's got also got a flesh jack, mm -hmm. and Manila Luzon has got a line of lubes. Okay. So whatever tickles your fancy, or your pickle, go for it. I wonder if Evie oddly has got a, a, a dildo. She doesn't like that you're talking about that. It's the end of this week's showbiz news. Thanks for that, Lee. I'm just picturing Chris Hounds with massive cock. Totally welcome. But coming up next, it's Mike with the buzz. You're watching Chewing the Cud with Lee and Mike. Now let's get ready to be mildly bored as we go over to Mike and the Buzz. Do you have any hobbies? Many. Like what? <laughs> I said felching then. That was the first thing that came to mind. <laughs> Just mainly felching. Um, I, I enjoy um, walks in the park. <laughs> <laughs> You're not a dating profile. <laughs> uh, last, last weekend I went and paddled in the sea. I did. It was beautiful, beautiful. Which sea? The Blackpool Sea. <laughs> so the North Sea. Yes, it was, it was, it, there was Cold. no turds or anything. Cold though? No, it was actually, oh, I didn't go right in. All right, okay. Just kind of like, just ankle length, ankle deep. Ankle length. <laughs> I'm a lady. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> So the World Championship of Worm Charming. Has worm Charming? Worm Charming, yes. Who knew that was a thing? A lot of people, yes. Um, as, do, you not, do you not know what it is? Are they like in a little tiny basket and you have a flute and go... Do, 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 no. Do, 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 do. no, no, no. Um, they're out in the ground, so you get a two metre square. Okay. Right, and you have to charm the worms to the surface. <laughs> we don't do that. You have to charm the worms to the surface. With you doing that? Just Some people do that, yeah. Okay. Yeah. They look like they're sucking them. Um, well, it's known as grunting or worm fiddling. Oh, as okay. Well. Um, where basically, the, the rule is you, you get a two metre square and you have to try and get the worms up. You know, you, you do things like stomp a little bit, try and like mimic rain because they go up towards the surface of rain. Seagulls do that. They, that's, yeah, <laughs> seagulls do that. <laughs> people do that. <laughs> Seals do that. To get the worms to come to the surface. Exactly, and so that's what people are doing as well. Mm. But you, you get some time to do it and basically get to go. Right? And one year, out of everybody that took part, one worm came to the surface because it was too one. dry. Oh, I hate it right? when it's dry. Um, exactly, it needs to be moist. Moist, otherwise you can't fiddle worms. No. That's the, the rule. Um, but, you know, they get you know, up to 200 beckoned to the surface. This is an English thing. It is an English thing. That's a shocker, because we have some weird things in this country, don't we? Yeah. Like, was that one that people run off down a hill and then they launch a giant cheese to go and crush them? And, and they have to like <laughs> go, yeah, yeah. That, like that's weird. And and the one where um, you, throw a, you throw a haggis. Mm -hmm. Just at people. Yeah. <laughs> Instead of a brick. That kind softer. of stuff. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's only been on for three years. It's just three years. Just yeah, an oldie right. worldy tradition. It, it's an old world tradition, but a championship is quite new. Oh, right. So it's um, it's passed down. It's mostly in Cornwall and Somerset kind of areas. Whoa. <laughs> Whatever that was, um, but it's a generational thing. So it's passed down as a skill. Oh, it's passed down as a skill. Yeah. Um, oh, because, that is that's disturbing. <laughs> because the worms are, the worms are used to catch fish yeah. for fishing. That's why they did it. <laughs> Nothing sexual. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to move on now, shouldn't I? 
Because yes. I'm going to say something that I will regret. <laughs> you so are. let's just move on. Yeah. <laughs> what were you thinking of saying? No, I don't want to say Fuck it. it out. It's like, you know, the bedroom drawer opens in the middle of the night. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. Um, so moving on from worms. Okay, I've got an update. So last week we were talking about a bodybuilder who'd injected Vaseline into his arms to make mm -hmm. his arms look Bodybuilder's big. a loose term to use. <laughs> That's the word he used. Mm. Right. Popeye, basically. Mm. Um, well, he's, he's having the, the, the fat removed from his arms. The okay. Vaseline. Vaseline. But he's, um, he's come up with a new diet. Same. Yes, because um, he wants to you know, still keep a trim figure. He wants to keep bulked up. Yes, um, and he's found a perfect way of getting the right amount of proteins. Is it cum? No. no, it's cat food. Oh! So he's taken to eating three or four tins of cat food as is a he meal. Just desperate for a little bit of it? Is he just desperate for a little bit of attention? Probably, um, but there he is with his massive arms. Is, I, I'm going to call him Vaseline Vince. Vaseline Vince, okay. Mm. They're for dubba dubbers. <laughs> Um, but and then he's just munching away on cat food. He's eating the kibbles, which is good. Yeah, dry food, cheaper. I don't want to mock him too much, Mike, because I think there may well be some mental health issues here. But you still want to mock him a bit. But I still do because <laughs> I kind of think. Do you know we're really, we're living in a, um, a generation where people will do anything to be famous, mm -hmm. and when they've got absolutely no talent, they'll go, "Well, what else can I do?" I'm going to inject myself with Vaseline. Um, well, you know, well done him. Mm -hmm. Let's hope all these dreams come true. Yeah. The dick. <laughs> is it just dry cat food or is he having a little it bit of a nosh on it the... He has food as well. Okay. He has the, the full selection. A pouch? Uh, I think a full, tab, full tub thing. Oh, no, 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 no. Because the dry food, bleh. But, oh, the fat, oh, nom, 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 nom. I have to say, though, sometimes when um, I'm giving my dog uh, a treat, mm -hmm. the biscuits, I sometimes think, I wonder what they taste like. And I have never, not yet, tasted one. <laughs> I haven't, Gallery, I genuinely haven't. I have lifted it to my nose. You just said, I have never not tasted one. No, I haven't. It's a double negative, which means no, you have. No, I've not tasted one yet. Yet, so yeah, you've got but I have listened. I have really <laughs> sniffed it. Not ruling it out. Not saying you won't. Gone, mm, and then put then the thought. No, that that's just because I'm frightened. I might like them. <laughs> so, so because a vet recently said my dog is fat. He's not. He's just a tiny bit. Oh away. God. Um, there are low fat biscuits out there. So you, you could low fat dog biscuits. Yeah, yeah, just saying. Mm. You could still have a low fat biscuit. I could, yeah. Yeah, but I, I'm I'm frightened. Okay. I don't want to open an avenue. <laughs> just in case. Just in case. They get yeah. tasty. Take us end up on the, on on one of your buzz stories. Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't, I wouldn't Gay man it. addicted to dog biscuits. <laughs> <laughs> but look how glossy his coat is. Ooh. And if <laughs> and if you want to play the biscuit game with Lee, you can do on our social media at the Could TV. And that brings us to our story of the week. I'm surprised I got away with saying that mm. without you saying something. Not the biscuit game is. I, I, it's the soggy biscuit thing. Yeah. 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 Okay. Well. Not saying no, ladies and gents. Off you go. Um, seagulls at the seaside. Yes. They're, they're they're known for having. I'm going to say food rage. Rage. Yes. They're very aggressive, aren't they? Very aggressive. All swoop down and steal chips and stuff and ice creams. Mm. Okay. Um, well, seagulls have started stealing something else <gasps> off people's Babies. possession. Worse. <laughs> It's worse than babies. Drugs. Oh. <laughs> so yeah, seagulls Drug have started babies. stealing <laughs> drug mules. <laughs> babies high on crack. Yes. Oh god. Yeah. Um, no. Specifically, spice. Okay. You know, do you know what spices? Like oregano, thyme. Yes. Very, very, very potent drug. Okay. Right. Um, that. Induces basically like comatose kind of states. It sends oh. people very out of it. Okay. Right? And slightly aggressive as well. Oh, that's not good. No, especially inside a seagull. No, you don't want that inside a seagull. No. So, yes, we've got psycho seagulls getting high on zombie drugs. Oh, my word. Um, because they, they are swooping down, stealing the spice out, out of people's hands. So out of the veins it. of the... the uh, no, so when they've got spice, like, when they're smoking it or when... Is that, is that what you do? I don't know. You can take... The thing that makes spice so, so troublesome is you can take it multiple ways. Oh, okay. 
Um, so there's... In a doobie. In a doobie. You know, sometimes you shout at me when I mention your actual age, and then you say stuff like that, and I don't need to. Well, you know. Yeah. Um, so, <laughs> I'll, for a while it was quite prevalent to be put into childlike paintings. So they'd put spice into paint and paint like a, like someone's drawing you a picture of daddy in prison. Are we still having the same conversation? Yeah, yeah. Talking about spice. Right, okay. I know you... you Seagulls are painting with spice. <laughs> Should I, should I backtrack to the bit where you start paying attention again? <laughs> yeah! Because <laughs> I kept talking and you were off your own little land. <laughs> At all! So the thing that makes spice such a prevalent drug, mm -hmm. so dangerous, it can be taken multiple different ways. Yes. You remember that bit? I do, yes. Right, now stick with me, because that's where you wandered off. Yes. Right, so the thing that causes in prisons the issues, mm -hmm. right, is that because it can be taken multiple ways, mm -hmm. dissolving the spice into paints, Painting childlike paintings and sending them into the prisons. Okay. So that people could then take the spice. Uh, yeah, licking the painting. <laughs> okay. So right. seagulls are not painting pictures. Seagulls are not them. painting. They're just, just stealing <laughs> the drugs and getting high. Right. <clears throat> and that's all from the buzz this week. Because I can't explain that again. Oh, I've got a devil in me today. Um, stick around, because coming out after this, we've got our game of the week. <laughs> You're watching Chewing the Cud. This week we are playing List This, and this is one for the master of the smallest room. So off you pop, Mike. I'm playing a wank in the toilet again. Game of the Week. Are we ready, Mike? Oh. Yes, I am. So I'm going to give you a list and you have to tell me what the odd one out is. Okay. Nice and easy. Mm -hmm. Okay. Are you ready for your first one? I am indeed. Okay. Which is the odd one out? Okay. Mm -hmm. Goal defence. Goal defence? Goal defence. Okay, gold. Right. Right. Left midfielder. Oh, I don't know. Right fullback or centre back? I don't know. It's football, isn't it? It's not, not of any importance at all. Goal and defence. Correct. <laughs> is it? Yeah. Is that, is that even a fair thing? Yeah, it is, because that's the only person that's a defender, the rest are attacking. Oh, I just, just like saying it. Goal defence. Goal defence. Yes, go Okay. Defense. That was a lucky, that was a fluke. I don't think it will happen again. Okay, shall we try it then? Yes. Okay. Um, which of the following is not a musical instrument? Sorry, which one of these is an odd one out? The flute, the saxophone, the guitar, or the clarinet? That's a ball. That's not my answer, I was just saying. <laughs> um, so a flute. Uh huh. <laughs> Saxophone. Yeah. A guitar. Bring. Mm -hmm. What was the last one? Clarinet. Clarinet. I, I want to say guitar because the others are like wind instruments. They're all all, all other wind instruments. Reed. Yes. So guitar. Yes. Correct. Is that it? Yes, for the right reason as well. See, you're good at this. Wow. Okay. Which one of these is the odd one out? Mm -hmm. Hitler. <laughs> Mary Kondo. Tony Blair. <laughs> Nigella Lawson. I'm going to say Tony Blair. Because? He's not Jewish. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to try another answer? <laughs> it won't get you cancelled. I generally thought that was the right answer, to be fair. Um, do to, well, do you want to answer it again, but for a different reason, maybe? Okay. Um... <laughs> So that shot my shot my opinion out of the water now. Um, um, t Tony Blair. Because? Because he's the only one that hasn't been a character in Scratch Game <laughs> on Drag Race. No. The answer was Hitler. Oh. Because he's the only person that was alive in the First World War. <sighs> Which of the following cities is the odd one out? Southampton. Liverpool, Glasgow, Brighton. You see how I did those without an accent all the way through? 
Can we keep that? Theme? I don't know what I don't know what the Southampton accent is. Is thankfully. So, but this PVP. Oh, no. Glasgow. Um, what was the last one? Brighton. Brighton, isn't it? Um, <laughs> I'm gonna say I'm gonna say Brighton because because it's not a port. It wasn't a port for the for the ships. Okay. Is that right? And Glasgow. It's not near because, the sea. <laughs> because Glasgow is the only one that's not in England. Oh, okay. I was I'm just thinking way too deep, aren't I? Yeah, of course you were. <laughs> okay, so this one should be good because you, you're good at music, aren't you? Yeah. Okay. Which is the odd one out? Right here waiting. Yesterday. Letter B. Eight days a week. Right here waiting. Because? Because it's not a Beatles song. Correct. Well done, you. Right here waiting for you. Who sang that? Richard Marks. Hmm. History. <laughs> okay, uh, odd one out. Gold, aluminium, zinc and hydrogen. Hydrogen. Because? Because hydrogen is a gas. And? And the others are a metal. Correct. Well done. You're doing very well at this today. Oh, yeah, aren't I? Yeah. Science. Amazing. What happens when you find quizzes designed for 10 year olds? Oh. How okay. I get? So, television, mm -hmm. bed, chair, table. Television. Because? Because it's the only thing that's electrical. Lamp. Oh, uh, yeah. Sorry, table lamp. So. What? It is television, yeah. Yeah. Is that the right reason? It is, yeah. <laughs> Which of these colours is not in a rainbow? Red and yellow and pink and green. Right, okay, circle. Right. Yellow. Mm hmm. Violet. Mm hmm. Pink. Mm hmm. And red. Pink. Because? Richard of York gave battle in vain and it's not in it, so it's pink. So what does Richard in York gave battle in vain mean? Richard, red, of, orange, York, yellow, gave, green, battle, blue, in, indigo, vain, violet. Well done, you. I was, I was hoping you went along the song with, red and yellow. No, I was very intelligent, you see. I've got the brain of a 10-year-old. Not an intelligent ten-year-old either. This is, a, yeah, this is a low bar. Um, Break your brownie by any chance? No. Okay, next one. A corona. Okay. A peso. Mm-hmm. A bat. Mm-hmm. And an ounce. And a what? Ounce. Well, the first three are coins. Okay. And I don't know what the last one is, so I'll say the last one. Ounce. You don't know what an ounce is. Oh, ounce. All right, okay. I think you said amps. So an ounce is a measurement of weight, and the other three are currencies. Okay, so you're not thinking an ounce of gold might be something? No. Okay, you're right. Well done. Okay. Singing the A-team. So. Uh-huh. Calculus. Oh, okay. Thermodynamics, mm -hmm. linear algebra, mm -hmm. statistics. Calculus, mm -hmm. thermodynamics, yep. physics. No. Mm -hmm. Linear algebra. Linear linear. 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 Algebra. Algebra. Yeah. And statistics. statistics. I don't know that one. Have a guess. Um um, statistics. Because? Because I, I, I just think you just have to do writing and um, the others you just do experiments. Okay. The answer is thermodynamics because oh. the others are areas of maths. Oh, okay. Yeah. Nice. Um, next one. Hmm? Himalayas. Mm -hmm. Kilimanjaro. Kilimanjaro. Rocky. 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 And Andes. Andes. Okay, so. 
Right. I'm going to say Kilimanjaro. Okay. Because that's a mountain. And all the rest are a range of um, hills and stuff. Can't give you that, sorry. <gasps> the answer is Kilimanjaro. I'll get it right then. Because, no, because you need both. No, right? right. Because the Himalayas, the Rockies and Andes are a collection of mountains. That's what I said. You said hills, they're very different things. Range of things. Range of things. They're all ranges it's a of range things. Of the hills and mountains. It's the you same thing. No, it's not. A hill is a very different thing to a mountain. You're a pedantic bitch, aren't you? I, I checked. I checked. You saw me go checking, and it's not my choice. It's not my choice. The voices in my head decided. Technically, I got it right. You got half a point, Max. Okay, next one. NATO. Mm. UNESCO. FBI, WTO. The what? WTO. <laughs> NATO. Uh huh. Another one. UNESCO. 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 Yeah. FBI. FBI. <laughs> <laughs> and WTO. Don't know. Have a guess. Um, the second one, because it's never nice to have instant coffee. It's very bitter. Okay, so UNESCO is the thing that decides what's a world no monument. Is it? Heritage centre, so, you know, you go away and you go to a UNESCO site. Oh, okay. That means it's protected and looked after by this oh. thing. Yeah. Um, not Nescafe, mm -hmm. which is the type of instant coffee. The other ones are there. All right, so still I'm right, because the others are like, um, uh, um, like, Police places like no. overlords of no. the of the, the World Trade Organization is not a police organization. The FBI is the answer. What's that? Yeah, because <laughs> NATO, UNESCO, and WTO are all three are world organizations, and the FBI is just a federal for America. Oh wow! What's the WT for? World thing? Trade Organization. Oh wow! So they're the people that deal with trade across the world. That was a really interesting question. I didn't say it was an interesting question. I said it was a question. Stay with us because after this quick break. We've got that science, that is. <laughs> Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. And now we prepare to go over to the science laboratory and have another stunning episode of That Science That Is. That science, that is. Okay, so in the past, Lee, we, we've we've used we've made crystals, haven't we? We have. So we've made crystals out of sugar, sugary things, yep. made ice ice pops. Yep. And we've used um, crystals to make ice cream. Yep. Well, today we're going to basically separate an emulsion. We're going to separate an emulsion. Separate out an emulsion. I thought yeah. an emotion then. I thought, how are we going to do that? <laughs> out of you, that'd be a task. <laughs> Not science. That's magicianry or magic, as it's also known. Um, so in front of you, you should have a jar. I do. And you should have a mystery white fluid. I do, and it stinks. It doesn't stink. It does. It's got a very strong aroma because of what has, has been prepared. OK. OK. So what I want you to do is open up your jar and pour your white fluid into the jar. This isn't high tech. I'm going to pour my fluid in the jar. There we go. Go. And uh, screw your lid on really tightly. You screw your lid on. OK. Is that on? Let's see what you want to do at head height, where you can. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just run it past your face, like that. Why? because you just need to do that for safety reasons. No, so, you don't. You do. Just pass your face like that. Yes, okay. Because it's actually, um, it's a form of cream, so we need to make sure it's past your eyes. <sighs> cut, cut it, cut the tapes. <laughs> no one's used tapes for years. So what you need to do now is you need to do a, a very vigorous rocking motion, or wanking motion, if you will. So you just need to bash it about. 
Oh, mate, in the jar, not me. No, oh, you can have a wank if you want, but... Vigorous. You need to make it thick. <laughs> and stop making a gloppy noise. Keep going. Because you should still be able to make it go gloppy. Oh. I don't know what that song was. <laughs> no, do I, but I think it might be racist. Um, <laughs> it's like Agadoo. Push back, Agadoo. push it. Agadoo. By Black Lace. Whatever happened to Black Lace? They died. <laughs> Did they really? I don't know. So you said that this, this had a bit of a weird smell about yeah. it. Yeah. You said because... it was bulges. <laughs> well, I couldn't find an actual cow. <laughs> now, if you listen, my, my noise has changed. Okay. Okay, because I think what's happened has happened. Yeah, mine's happened. <laughs> so yeah, my... <laughs> oh, it's so hard. <laughs> my arms are sore, Mike. Swap arms. How do I know when it's done it? Because you'll hear the, you'll, the, the thick li liquid, right, will go thin. Like this. So, and and you'll, you'll feel it. Yeah, there we go. That's the speed. That's it. Keep going. That is the scene that I want playing <laughs> at my funeral. Just over and over and I loop. Oh, yeah. Got the lid to fly off inappropriately as well. <laughs> <laughs> this is when you find out I did give you bull semen. Has it changed? Kind of. Started to. Okay, keep going then. Keep going. Keep going. Make eye contact with the viewers while I'm doing it. Do it. Like a camera. <laughs> <laughs> Is it good for you, baby? <sighs> Is that... Is it cheese? Sort of. Is it cottage cheese? <laughs> yeah, it's cottage cheese. So, what I did was, before before we started recording, I warmed it ever so slightly. Between your thighs? Between my thighs, yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, so now when you open your lid, right, when you open it up, you'll have... It's magma. A yellowier kind of liquid, which is the fat out of the emulsion. What's happened is, as you've been shaking it, the fat molecules have, have smashed together and stuck. So they've got bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. Okay. So now, do you know what that's called? It's called curds and whey. Not quite. It's called butter. It's called butter? That's butter. Oh. That yellow stuff, right? Yeah. So this is unsalted. <laughs> Fresh butter. Unsalted man butter. It is partly semen. Can I lick it? You can do better than that. If you look in your cupboard to the left, to your side, I may have furnished you with a piece of toast. <gasps> Indeed there is. <laughs> so I just... So, so now do you know how to, do you know how to butter toast? Well, I'll give it a good go, good. Mike. What I would say is, as you take it out, give it a bit of a shake to make sure you get some of the, the buttermilk off. Buttermilk. Okay. Just because what you would do normally is you'd, uh, when you've done this, is you'd wash the butter with some water to get, make sure there's no buttermilk left. Well, it spreads like butter, Mike, and it looks like butter. <laughs> but it is. <laughs> but it's mostly jizz. So, I'm yeah. going to just taste it. Remember, it's unsalted, so if you prefer salted butter, then... Tough. Mmm. Is it actual butter? Is it? Is he going to tell me it's not? Aren't you? Because <laughs> uh, so it's very difficult to get hold of a cow sometimes, right? What have you used, but I found Mike? this one on its own with oh. horns, right? And only one udder. And then the farmer came out saying, "What are you milking my bull for?" But it works, so... Being told me that might have been bull semen. Chewy <laughs> <laughs> mm. toast. I'm going to say... Well... Sorry, I've got a glistening lip. Um, <laughs> You're going to say you're sorry I've got a glistening lip? <laughs> no. I'm going to say, that is one of your better experiments. Because yeah. it involves food uh -huh, that can be like. eaten. Mm -hmm. And it worked. Mm. And it tasted like, and it, you know, all that shaking, vig vigorous exercise, burnt off calories. Oh, cost. Where can I buy this butter? Is it is it available freely in the shops? So is the cream you can use to buy it. 
Is that all you do? That's all you do. Just yeah, put if some cream in a jar and shake it? Yeah, that's literally it. But once you've done that, if you take your jar, you see that, that buttermilk, you're supposed to basically wash that off. Mm -hmm. So you'd add water and keep rinsing it until the water ran clear. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just wash it all off. But yeah, that's all butter is. It's beaten up cow, cow milk fat. Wow. But yeah, and you can drink the buttercream if you wanted to as well. I don't want to do that. It's disgusting. What? Oh. <laughs> that again? Not an animal, that's disgusting. So um, the buttermilk, what you, you could also do is dip um, raw chicken in it and then flour and then buttermilk again and then fry it and it makes a, a really nice crumb. Buttermilk chicken? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Is that just got you really excited? I've just got a big, big lump of toast. <laughs> Did you forget to eat a normal size piece? Well, well done, that was very good. Well done you. Well done me. Not only is that very good, it's toast, then that's science size. That science, that is. So you just keep doing that? Keep shaking it? Or is no, it now you're done. done? You're done. You don't need to keep... You can keep shaking if you want, but it won't get any better. It'll just stay the same. Mm -hmm. Because the, the fat molecules all smashed together, so they're all combined. Is that how they used to do it in the olden days? It's still how they do it. Is it now? Yeah, they just they have a big machine that whisks it. Oh. How That's simple. Fun. How simple. But effective. Hmm. Mm, I can't believe. It's not butter. It's not butter. <laughs> <laughs> it's not made like that. Yeah, <laughs> but it is. Do you make your own butter? No, I don't. Oh. I just buy it like everybody else. Do you make your own bread? I sometimes make my own bread. Depending on how much time I, I have and how much I'm trying to impress the shag. Oh. Because, you know, if I'm cooking a meal mm. and you know, it's just, you know, just a steak or something, I'll... If it's a date, Paul, yes, it doesn't happen that often, but it happens. So if I'm cake, cooking a steak or something and I'm doing, like, some garlic bread, mm. I'll cook my own garlic bread. Can I put can I put other things in jars and shake them and they turn into delicious things? Can I do can I do it with like Child. <laughs> like like well, can I make ice cream that way? Yeah, we've made ice cream before that way. Remember, you put it in a bag. Yes, we did. And then you put it in a bag with ice and shook it. Yes, we did. And it made ice cream. Indeed, we did. Yeah, the same premise. Mm -hmm. Low tech. Yeah, gets the result, keeps you happy. <laughs> so yeah, so that's the last of the food related things now. Oh. Sad times. Sad times. Yeah. I might make margaritas next week. Ooh. But that's not really for the show, that's just... No, yeah, that's not very sciencey, is it? Well, now there's shaking cream to make butter, but... No. No. Yeah. Well, that's almost the end of the show. Remember to join us on our social media, at The Could TV. Our website is thecud.tv. And, of course, on YouTube and podcast services, just search for Chewing The Cud. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you again soon. Bye! Bye. 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 Bye.